It's Daily Naz here, episode 151. Uh, Happy New Year, folks. Uh, 2024 in the building. Uh, sorry we missed you guys last week. People were on vacation. But uh, we'll make it up to, to you for tonight. What's up, boys? You got a magic to, mic and steal in the building. How to prepare for our year. That's it. Our year, run the path. Yeah, our year. So tonight we got the Steel and Naz Awards. We got, you know, guest of the year. It is fighter of the year is headlining it. We got a couple others thrown our way that we're going to be up for debate. The first two are fans votes. But after that, we got a lot to talk about in the sports horizon. Uh, will this be Bill Belichick's last game as a New England Patriot? Uh, week 18 picks, a lot of uh, win and end type scenarios in the playoffs. We'll give you our picks. Uh, college football playoff final. We had a hell of a semifinals there, right, still? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alabama Big goes weekend. down. Texas goes down. Beautiful. Uh, we'll preview the championship. A little Bruins Celtics update. They've been both kind of Celtics on a tear loss the other night, and then Bruins are kind of up and down. We'll, we'll uh, discuss them quite a bit. But uh, first and foremost, man, we got the Steel and Naz Awards. Yep. Let's go. Yes. That time I of year almost, again. I want to let it run a little longer. I, I want to announce the winners because we just got that te- that message. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, polls aren't closed yet, and, and polls, as the United States election have shown, things can get rigged, things uh, can get toyed with. All right, so guess of the year is, is guess of the year is closed. So how about this? We'll run through everything else. Okay, and then we'll that's make fair. those as the final two, that's and that's fair. when it's closed. Yeah, it's going to be closed today. Yeah. Deal. So yeah. whoever's making, whoever sent you that message, get to work. Yeah, get to work because you probably have, well, who knows? We'll talk and you listen. Um, so the first one here, if it's not guest of the year or fighter of the year, I mean, just looking back in 2023, um, you know, it was a good day to have, good night to have a night every time we're here. Um, Always. Didn't have as many guests as usual, but I feel like we still, you know, Played with it, and you know, I think that at one point during the football season, I, I kind of railed it back and was like, "Hey, let's make personalities of our own." I think that's important for a podcast. What do you think, boys? Yeah, kept yeah. showing up. <laughs> yeah. Consistency is mean, key. We got good guests on that guest of the year list, and there were t- some tough ones that didn't Top make tier, it. Yeah, the Martini Boys could have been up there. I was thinking, Prosciutto Poppy, big names. Yeah, Studs. I was looking through. Yeah, yeah, were big Studs. names. Right. I mean. Ryan Shea, who's playing the Bruins tonight, yeah. plays for the Penguins. Correct, correct. Hell of a game right now. A lot of guys and, five, and lights all, half the fighters could have been guests of the year. So it's we we did we did still have some great guests. Fight club, and it's only going to get better. We'll get some great guests again next year. This year, I agree. I our agree. year. We'll I think back to I think that's on the horizon. Yeah. Is it <clears throat> our, is it truly our year? Yes. Okay. So we're putting well, twenty. As long as Steel says it. Yeah. Our year. It's so our finally. year until this man says it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Was twenty twenty three our year? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 2020 wasn't our year. No. Yeah. No. All right. So that goes for like everyone. I think we can. <laughs> I think we can rule it in like, I say July if it's our year or not. I think it wasn't going to be our year last year until the Free Jacks won. It's fair. I what a moment that was. Yeah. No, you just never really Speaking understood. About- you never understood what our year really meant. <laughs> That's what it really was. I, I definitely understood it. It, it doesn't come down to teams winning. <laughs> he wasn't there day one. He wasn't there day one. He doesn't you understand. Just gotta, yeah, you had to be there. It you was had to be there. You need a little our, positivity. Yeah. You need a little positivity to have a PR year. There was positivity. There was so much year. positivity. <laughs> there, was well, un- there was a reckless amount I'd of positivity say, last yeah. year. Like, there's a lot of negative... Too. There's a lot of negativity. That's why it wasn't your year. It was ours. No, I think it was definitely our year. <laughs> wasn't doesn't your, fucking what, sound was it, like it. wasn't your year. It was definitely our year. I know that. I, yeah. All right. Good. I'm cool. That's good, good to hear. 20, yeah. like, look at how good this Let's year is. Let's move past our year. It is our year. There's no questioning it. Okay. Correct. So speaking about the free jets. <laughs> it's not on. It doesn't get called off in July. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it gets doesn't. called off when uh, this man says so? I, no, I was gonna say I think you could it could turn at a specific month. You'd be like, all right, it's really not our year. But it is in your year right now because of that answer. That all right, story. well, let's Jan- move on. It's January fourth. We have a lot to. It is. Know, it. We'll on. get into why. A lot it's not to build on. Yeah. Um, speaking of, of, get of the free jacks, oh, I get it. Um, <laughs> the moment of the year, uh, candidacy. I think a couple thrown our way. I'll throw out uh, one that I liked. The. Uh, Martini on the Sir Winston, me and Magic went out there, kind of mixed a little video thing together. And, uh, you know, the greatest martini, espresso martinis in Boston, the Mr. Martini boys put on a hell of a show. Uh, we were plastered by the end of it. But, you know, we really bought our time there. Yeah, yeah I mean, it looked like a blast. 
couldn't make it. Wish I could have. It looked like an absolute. Hopefully, it could make it this year when they run that back because it yeah. looks like a hell of an event. That that event is must attend. I'm I'm still waiting on my merch, boys. I bought some merch from them. I'm very excited to wear it. Oh wow! And get it, but uh, should Stay be here tuned. soon. Yeah, so they said. Which I was wearing it right now for you guys, but like I said, they could have been up for guests of the year. Had my brain thought of them quick enough, it did think of them, but I went to Joey Boats. Yeah, we instead. went. Those espresso martinis at that place near Camham. What's that place called? Remember? Cloud Nine, I think. Yeah, it was yeah, called. we Cloud went there. Something, the, yeah, looked like a really nice spot. I haven't been back, but I uh, probably should. Yeah, hope you know. Hope hopefully you boys will. Uh, Give us another review. We love doing the reviews. Yeah. yeah I'm definitely, definitely pumped for the next Martini event. What did, They said they were going to do something wild, I think, for the next one. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the Probably, boat was the wild yeah, thing. Yeah, that is wild. Like, they could do <laughs> the that every year. Nuts. It's wild. It the was boat, the, Yeah, yeah. The one me and Showtime went to the first year was very fun, but, like, the boat was another level. I mean, you take any event scenario and throw it on a boat it's yeah. like cool i mean that's just like that's anything it, the energy was high like you said we like made they chicken great fingers. people they had great great food yeah and the, the martini mob is this legit as fuck all the people in it are cool excited to have them back on a lot of sales people they're trying to just like get some clients there yeah yeah i like that like it's a good networking event. Good finesse and great yeah. networking event if you're not drinking espresso you're not networking thing i learned print the shirts yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, what is, still, still, you got one on the back. I'm gonna eat the bean, but uh, I think I, I, I like uh, so many great moments. I think being part of a championship parade going down the street with the free jacks was just electric. Yeah, it was yeah. really a pub, pub crawl, which made it even better. But ripping beers off the shield trophy, the lads. <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> like, that was one of the most electric days of my that, life. That's what I was saying. That might be one of the best days of our, yeah. li- our, our no, lives. No, like that day was so You'll much never fun get a fun. parade in Quincy probably ever again like that. Until unless they, they, unless they, they do it. They, they, they run again. it back. But, like, yeah. That was a surreal moment just seeing those trolleys like turn the corner at Veterans. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like, wow. Just a little background, too, if you're listening. Uh, so a lot of the players were going to play overseas. So they had like so much room on their uh, bus Us. there. And uh, it was all a bunch of like Quincy officials, uh, different types of, and then Kyle, uh, the the bald eagle, Shakira invited the boys on all day. So we went from bar to bar, had an absolute day. We were ripping, started at Cronin's at like noon. Uh, we were drinking out of the shield. We were getting things going, and then by the time it got to the end of it, I think it was like nine p.m. We were at Granite Granite Links there, um, crossing I nines. Didn't you even made get it the there. whole parade. Did not I, get to Granite. I, I, I left tapped out at Water Club. I made it. I, I hate snitching on Kyle, but he was he was yakking by the end. It was great. Yeah, they said like it, was, <laughs> it wasn't like there were any breaks in between those bars. I don't like the I, bus drove and like there were just beers on the bus. Like it fucking it didn't stop. I can only imagine what my night would have looked like had. I had not had not I had been in your positions, but if I had won but won a rugby championship oh, yeah. and, and every, had a parade, you know, like yakking's the least of your concerns. And because of like obviously the rugby players, like every bar was so peaceful and regular until like well, we yeah. showed up. Well that was and um, it just got like every, got like rowdy. the faces on people's the look on people's faces when like we got there. At all yep. of them. Most people like, probably were like, well, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, having yeah. a parade for a rugby team they probably don't even know exists. Oh, yeah. Sadly. Especially like one of the spots. If you don't know, now you know. One of the spots was Alba. You think any of the people at Alba had any idea like, no, about no. anything about rugby? I mean, I would hope because Kyle's all over the entire city on all the flags. But yeah, but I, also but yeah still they, ma- they see that. Honestly, but. if you're not looking for those flags, you might not even notice them. One of the most bizarre things about the whole entire you know event, things like that. Me and in, I'll call him intern Will. We would be we'd carry in the the shield and the trophy. And like, if this was a basketball team, even if there was a football team, me and Will, not we're not passing as like athletes, but rugby, we have a pretty good chance. So we went in there pretending like we were one of the guys. We started taking pictures with people. Yeah, they thought that, we were on the team. No, that's awesome. electric. Yeah, that that is, in the jersey, people were like congratulating that that shit. That like that it was fucking too. Like, like he, that, the, they don't even know who's on the team. So you guys, oh, yeah, literally, literally, yeah, like, like they really yeah, truly hold a year. Yeah, <laughs> like they truly believed it. It wasn't just like, are you on the team? They yeah. just like saw hey, why us. Why wouldn't like, they? Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. You guys do look like rugby e- players. Even we just, we just took a picture Shut with like free three people at the water club in the bartender at the water club. I've known since high school and she comes up to me and he go, she goes, hey, Adam, like, oh, when did you start playing rugby? <laughs> like you're on the team. And I lied my eye. I was just like, yeah, when I finished playing baseball in college, you know, I kind of moved on. I'm an alternate, so I really haven't played all year, but uh, I'm a great practice guy. Like, yeah. uh, that, that, great vibes. Yeah, great yeah, locker that point room guy. Sell it. Respect, yeah. respect to you for keeping it going. 
<laughs> yeah, that's it. It, it was a great bit. It was yeah. a great bit. Um, I've run all day with that. Yeah, <laughs> Matt, Magic, what was your top in the moments of the year? A lot of them. Uh, was Rough and Rowdy last year? Yeah, that was a good one. I, I put Rough and Rowdy up there. I just thought of that a little bit ago. Rough and Rowdy being back in Providence, and it's coming back in like two weeks, so we're going to run that back. But that night was – it wasn't as electric as when I fought, but it was electric. Is there Lights any breaking- Lang beating Pac-Man. Oh, yeah, that it, was great. Providence, oh, it was out of control. Antonga getting the beers spilled Anton over. almost getting killed. Uh, Me running from yeah, it. The show, yeah, yeah, the show goes do. on. Murphy's after. What Piss was pants. Up? And then we almost oh, we almost had Roan going to, to the strip, strip club, club with us. That, that was nuts. I, you know what? It doesn't count as this year, but I was going to say Jersey Jerry hitting that hole in one today. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> probably up for the 2024 moment of the year. I, I uh, hadn't watched really any of it. I tuned in for 20 minutes and he got it. No man. way. I did. Oh wow. wow! I'm not even like making that. I literally was just sitting on my phone like I watched probably 10 minutes of it last night. I was like, yeah, this is enough for me. But today. I, I know we overflow. Happened to get the right time. It was after the Brady tweet. Yeah, I was gonna say we overflow Brady, but 16 minutes after the uh, Brady tweet, like that's unbelievable. That's, was, that's how it goes. <laughs> that's it's weird. Yeah. It was weird. It was very weird. Like I don't even know how to describe that happening. <laughs> it was electric to watch. Like this happened. He had he had like 40,000 people watching him sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was 100k today when. He hit that when he, yeah one. when he got up. No, but, I'm saying he like he was know, sleeping, yeah. yeah yeah he was sleeping overnight and uh, yeah that was something. Shout man. out Jersey Jerry. I hope I hope we can get him on the show. Honestly, he should be one of yeah. Our it'd next be a fun tries. one. I think he's uh especially about his story about uh you know becoming sober and finding his yeah. ways. I think that's pretty interesting. He'd be good. But uh, uh, other yeah. other moment obviously the consensus. The consensus. I think we're all going to agree. Yeah, we, we were all in show. attendance for this one. Yep. The Turkey Day. <laughs> I, it, it started with such like a. Steel, it was all steel, and then you know, a couple of us were on board, but not as on board as steel was for sure. Steel was cooking that turkey, whether anyone showed or not. Patriots were on at 9 a.m. I told, I said I was frying a turkey behind the pub. I started at OB's, had to do it, walked across the street, had to do it. Got it going. I'll give you the shout out for the, for the cooking. My presence was there. Uh, the turkey was good, the probably the worst football game you'll ever see. Oh yeah, uh, it, it was a great day to be outside for Heine Turkey. Yeah, but of it, the good, good introduction 100%. to the Irish pub cook. I mean, the guy clearly runs that shit. Great, great yeah. guy, great guy. Shout out chef at the Irish. I don't think shout, out, shout out Showtime for just coming in and commandeering the, <laughs> the cooking of the turkey. But uh, rips his shirt off. He did a great job. Showtime put on an absolute clinic that day. No <laughs> he doubt was about pure it. electricity. He no was pure doubt about electricity. it. Fun moment. Needed him. Uh, that was really, I'd say, stealing Naz at our prime. Like. We own the we own the joint. Fed the whole pub. Fed the whole pub. There are people in the pub, no idea who they were. Still, my favorite video is that video of Zombie Nation playing and just the scene. <laughs> I, I I still watch that for a good smile, like pretty much weekly. I was like good I, for like one of my drunkest all year. I I went home. Tried, yeah, you were hammered. Tried getting a um, pouring a glass of wine and the wine <laughs> thing smashed. It all went everywhere, and then I passed right out. <laughs> So yeah, I was, uh, I was on one. I was on For one. reference, Naz doesn't usually make it to the end like the rest of us. But no. shout out to you. You did yeah, put yeah, on yeah. you you put on a Clinic. good effort that day. That, that was a solid like eight eight shift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for some for some of us it was an all day shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a fucking long one, that's for sure. God uh, bless it. So that's a consensus I, I moment think of the year. That, yeah. That's probably gotta be moment of the year. Just because it's very us. Yep. Yeah, very turkeys us. coming authentic. Yeah, authentic. It's, but all the other moments, great moments. Yeah. Turkeys will be fried again back there. Um, and then I'm going down yeah. the list here. Some we're just going to be able to bang right out, like local business of the year. We didn't really talk about this before. <laughs> I didn't even know this was on the list. But, but, I must have missed but I'm just gonna I'm get, I'm gonna just give credit where credits due. I'm gonna go back to the turkey routes, and I just think the Irish pub. I think that's an easy answer. Yeah, that's 51 Billings Road. <laughs> the <laughs> Irish has been on the up and up. The the food's gotten out of control. It's like <laughs> yeah. you can get a fucking mussels and white wine sauce, scallop pizza, breakfast pizza, and I just think it comes down to more, to more love. Like who do we connect with more? Like there hasn't really been best no, bartenders. Yeah, there hasn't been really a restaurant that's like, yeah, come here. No, you're right. No. Yeah, I I I can't even think except of for it. the crack Irish pub RIP. Yeah. <laughs> No, nowhere close. They were, they, were hound, they were hounding us, though. They, they were, were hounding, they us, were hounding us big time. They did have love for us, and <laughs> yeah. they gave us our first live event. So, yeah. They did. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Great time. Um, milk challenge of the year. I think that's unanimous. Yeah. I mean, someone, uh, someone did five. Anton, milk five, um, dumbass, Blaze <laughs> fan. 
I, I don't even like no, like how did he even lose that bet? They just didn't win the World Series. Like what a dumb dumb bet. I've no. already forgotten what it was actually about. Yeah, and like he brought it up himself. He was just feeling it that day. He I, I think he like wanted the milk. He must have like, or it, it, or he knows in his head that like he truly won't win bets with milk on his head and true. and for that reason like tommy Paluzzi, i'm gonna call you take this moment to call you out again if you ever plan on winning in life again like you gotta pay the milk guy he said he's gonna he told me last week but i i, I keep i keep calling his bluff I'm like, you know, i know i know he will when he comes off when the dog comes back off the leash he but said look, he's listening too Blowing, <laughs> good, he's good. Listening. you blowing your shoulder out it's like the one of the funniest parts of that video <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that's just unbelievable i should like, have seen that coming just crumbles <laughs> like we did the test runs and i was like yeah i can hold it but in my head i mean we were doing two second test runs i didn't really plan for the prolonged like this is going to take 15 seconds for these to drain absolute absolutely crumbled but it did make the video way better it I did think. no it did like it 200 anyone thinking i may be fake that so anton didn't take the brunt of the milk and i promise not you, true no, I, I promise I you it, i battled through injury i, I don't, filmed it that was a real show that <laughs> <and I'll, laughs> was a real show i don't think that's in you anyway i don't no, think you want to do that i want i want yeah. that milk on him more than <laughs> more than anyone <laughs> it's an honor to milk him <laughs> i think it's like a fetish of his now i think he like he, he gets sexually turned on he is into it he loves the milk uh, must, he must be like a big Bukaki guy. Good transition good, for you for great the next transition. Uh, we got Porn Star of the Year. Uh, this is a Magic Mike exclusive. Uh, he recommended it. Big <laughs> shout out. I'm going to give you the floor. It's got to be Rachel. Rachel? No, I, well, she doesn't have any scenes this year, though, right? No, but she's still killing it on yeah. OnlyFans, I think. Okay. I don't know. We could throw out a couple. Yeah. Like, throw, throw some out. <laughs> Uh, we had Maddie. What did uh, he said? Autumn Falls, I believe. Autumn Falls. She's a big name. Angela White's out there. A big one on the scene. Lily Lou or some shit. Lily Lou. Yeah, I think I've seen her. Oh, I think I've seen her. Yeah, just get, talk get, about get, it. Get tuned in. Right. <laughs> that, 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 that's all. <laughs> what should I know Stune about in. her? Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get nuts on that. I'm trying. Uh, you know, <laughs> Lane, <laughs> Lane yeah, the, you are. Lane, <laughs> Lane of the plug, not my favorite porn star, but she's putting on a clinic. Her and her little hubby or whatever the yeah, fuck cocky mo- is, Adam twenty two. That the, yeah, she's, she's making porn fun and they're trying to make yeah they're trying to make money off like her like teasing him. Which I mean, if you if you can make bills out of that, that's I've, it. I've yeah. seen those names. I have no idea who they yeah, are. Yeah, they're they're weirdos. They're weirdos. Porn is full of a lot of weirdos. And like I've the, seen them like trending the on like Twitter and stuff, and like I have no idea who those people. Do you want are. me to explain? Run it through real quick what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> briefly, briefly. So they did a little YouTube show consisting. So they're married. They have children and everything. And the show consisted of Lena and Adam picking a man to fuck her with him. That that was like the YouTube show. Internet's fucking weird. <laughs> and, and people would tune in. It looked interesting. I didn't actually watch it, but I mean, I, credit where it's due. Like, that's getting creative in the porn hey, world. Yeah. That you have to do these days. You have to do those things. Unfortunately, Rachel, really not doing those things right now, but Sickening. I still got her as porn star of the year every year. Born on my day, my birthday. <laughs> Our year. Our year, every year, Rachel. Until you come on this show, you will be the porn star of the year. And then that's, is that's group really of the, is the, group of the year the same thing? Like we. Or you just get like yeah, it should be Mish. It's Mish, yeah. Mish, is I think Mish is pretty consensus. Mish always shows up for us. Shout out Mish. I'm just trying to think like is I can't think of anyone is, else is who T, really is comes T Fort and Barnes like is, is she a groupie now? No, is she like a nominee now for groupie? Yeah, like no. I don't know, like she she's pretty nice to us. <laughs> like is yeah, she she's, though? She's pretty nice, yeah. <laughs> who else? Who else shows us love like Mish? Uh not like. Not anyone that I really want to mention. <laughs> I think I think Mish is a consensus. I'm like, and, and that's the thing. Like, if you think about this, you're trying to, in other ways to pick a new champion, yeah. and I don't think anyone else deserves it. I think it's all Mish all the time. And that's why Rachel won too. You yeah. Know? yeah, respectfully, <laughs> respectfully. There's girls putting in more work, probably better work, but Rachel, the, her her body of work speaks for when itself. When is when? When Mish, is when? Mish has been less groupie-ish. <laughs> And this year than in the past, but she's still the best groupie we have. And for that, you get the award. Keep coming. Understood. So now <laughs> I waited to close the polls. Polls have officially been closed. Uh-oh. 
officially been closed for the guest of the year and the fighter of the year. Magic, who should we, uh, who should I talk about first? Do fighter of the year, fighter of the year, fighter of the year. Okay, so we are done here. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make it like, like f- four through one. All right. So fourth place with four percent of the vote. Great guest, Mike the Hitman Ohan Jr. Um, great guy, great guy. Comes up a little short here, but great guy has a great career in front of, front of him. Um, fought in Quincy. Fought at yeah Veterans Memorial Stadium. Put on his show. I'm pretty sure he was the main event. Yeah, he was the main event. He kicked um, the shit out of the guy. <clears throat> great to see. Uh, coming in third place. Uh, I think he's like 15, 16. No, now he's got another fight at Mohegan Sun next month. Tune in for that. See, he has boxing. Um, for a belt. For a belt. This one's big. This is this one could get Frank the Tank the win for this year, upcoming 2024 year. Oh, for sure. And um, I get, this is going to be a tough one because it's between first and second place that are pretty close. Um, How close? So you're. Um, it's been between like 15%. I would say overall about 30 votes. So not that close. But, um, you know, Bobby Lang has been the two-time champion of this award. There's a third annual Steel and Nazars. Um, You know, the champ is here. He had a tough hiccup this uh, seat past 2023. He had a tough L. But then he came back and responded. And, uh, you know, I appreciate that. But this is a fan vote. And uh, the new champion... With 51% of the vote, Ozzy Toro Martin, MMA fighter, Plymouth State, just um, remarkable. Oh. We got oh, a new champion. Oh, 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 new new champ. champion. Breaking news. It's coming back to you, champ, next year. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Um, love you, Bobby Lang. Love you, Francis. Oh, yeah, studs, love you. studs all around. Studs all around. But there's, there's a new champ in town. There is a new champion. A and new trophy holder. It is Ozzy Toro Martin. And uh, you His know what? fans came in droves. I'll, yeah, I'll hey, say that. I mean, they, great support. You he got a yeah, lot of votes. Support, he yeah. got a lot of votes. He shared it. He uh, he was all about winning. Bobby, I think if Bobby had 24 hours, maybe he'd get it. He was a little late to the share game today, but it is what it is. And now focus on that big fucking fight against make it happen, Bobby. That's more important. And now Ozzy Toro Martin, he is right here because he just told me to call him. He's excited about winning the award. All right, that's good. Ozzy. Yo, what's, what's up? up? Can what's you up, hear kid? Hey, what's I can hear on, you. Sir? How you doing? Uh, should I turn? Good, good, man. I'm chilling. Should I get the camera on or are you good? Yeah, no, I got you. One sec. Let me turn some lights on. I just got home. You're good. Here we Yo. go. Yeah, what's up, boys? Yeah, How let's we doing? go, buddy. Congrats, my friend. What up? So the Congrats, Ozzy. 2023 you, Fighter of the Year on the Steel and Naz Awards. Uh, you're on the award show tonight. Um, so what does this mean, first off? You took down the two-time champion and Bobby Lang t- uh, to a fan <laughs> vote. Yeah, that's sick, man. It feels great, especially since that dude has won it a bunch previously. So, you know, it's a great honor. I appreciate you guys for even putting me in the in the category man you know like you know i love to fight i'm a real fighter i'm a people's fighter man i love to go in there and scrap knock people out hurt people so you know i fuck with it man of the people fighter of the years here when's your next oh, fight yeah. ozzy january 27th oh, coming uh, right up. h titans uh against cully johnson for the 170 strap is that in plymouth oh Yes, sir. Let's go. For the strap. Let's go. Have, Let's go. Congrats. Congrats. We got a show. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. We got a show. I'm ready, I'm bringing ready. the award to you. Sounds like I'm a great ready. time. So uh, besides, you know, getting ready for the fight, what have you been up to? We haven't really caught up. Uh, I think we had yeah, you on dude. earlier this year. Yeah, honestly, um, all I've been doing is just training, 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 man. You know, like, it's all I really like to do, train. And, you know, like, obviously had a, a, kind of a, a good layoff after my last fight, after that war, you know healing up, you know, had a good time with my friends, you know, and family, but you know, my goal never changes, man. I'm always trying, I'm trying to be the best I can, trying to be the best in the game and always improve and and just be the best fighter I can possibly be, you know. I love it. Well, appreciate you coming on the show real quick. Anyone else have any questions? Um, Congrats on the opportunity and best of luck on the 27th, my friend. Go kill it. Thank you so much. You know, I'd definitely love to come in the studio and see you guys after that. I'll I'll have a little bit of time off after that, you know, because it's been a long camp on the body. So, you know, I'd love to see you guys catch up, talk some shop, talk some shit. That'd be great. 100%. We're all all in. We'll be here. Hell yeah. 
Appreciate you guys. Thank you so no. much for the uh, for the award and having me on. You know, anytime, Ozzy. Congratulations. Good luck yeah. this month. Thank Congrats, you. man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. What a, a gracious guy. winner! A gracious wow. winner. Gracious winner. Come, comes on right away. Yeah. Wow. wow. And I mean, as like just an outstandingly prestigious award as that is. I mean, title title fight, end of the month. I know. He's wow, like, let's he's, go. Run for the belt. I, I do love, I, I don't know when Michael Hahn fights next, but uh, every fighter in the Fighter of the Year Awards got a big fight coming up in yeah. January. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Mike might too. I just don't know about it, but... Uh, That's why I think if Bobby... Something to look forward to. Probably would have been closer vote-wise if Bobby Lang, I think, was a little bit more vocal. But I think he's got plans set on, you yeah. know, the end of the month. Hey, laser focus. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. But it's congrats to... We know what Bobby wants. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby wants to win that trilogy. I, I, Get him I'm back. Su- I'm sure he wants this award, maybe. But he definitely wants that win. Yeah. So focus where you need wants to Wants to win more. He wants to win more than the yeah, this one. fair. Of course. Makes sense. And then uh, last award of the night, then we'll get on to regular sports. Uh, we have... The, the big one. The guest of the year. So it was between four absolute studs. Uh, I'm going to start again like I did before. Coming in with 15% of the vote, Bob Mennery. <laughs> Bob Mennery, road game for you guys. That was a big Bob, game. I, I'm t- I don't really know what to say. You, are you I, I, wanted Bob, I think I wanted Bob to win because Bob, I just want good things for Bob this year. And I think this would have started his year off hot. Hey, it's our year. Don't forget it. That's what I mean. He he could have used a little bit of that our year mojo. It would have rubbed off on him. He, but he's up to good things right now. I think we're going to have a turnaround. It sounds like he's going to be on the Full Send podcast again very soon. Really? Nice. Yeah, so Bob, awesome. Bob's on the up and up. Another guy who maybe didn't need this award. Is Showtime Craig going to be um, his assistant? I hope. I have... If, if, <laughs> if Showtime <laughs> deserved it, he probably should have gotten Bob that win tonight. But Showtime does deserve it. I take that back. It is what it is. Bob, thank you for interviewing with us. That was one of the best days. That was one of the, my moments of 2023 yeah. 20, for sure. Oh, yeah. No, you guys go in there. I mean, just tell the story again how Showtime did it. Bob put on his IG story looking for a vape. And Showtime from the clouds, like the best assistant in the world would. I'll be right there. Brought him a box of vapes. Got in the door. That's all he needed. He said, we've been trying, hounding you for us. Come on, the Stealing Ass Podcast. Can we get it done? Bob said, get the shit here right now and we'll do it. And, I mean, and we were just ready to go. We always knew that's how it would happen. It was always going to be on Bob's terms. And if you're him, I mean, if that's if that's this guy you've never met before, think of him being your assistant. But that's, that's what he did then. I mean, the Imagine thing, the lengths he would go to. The things Craig did in 72 hours for Bob Mennery should never be forgotten. I hope Bob hasn't forgotten him. I, I hope the fame has, and all that hasn't gone to his head enough that he's forgotten how hard Showtime went for him for 72 <laughs> hours. I won't say all the things he did on air, but maybe Craig will one day. I don't know why else he would look for an assistant besides Showtime. And shout out Bob. He bought us these mics. He like, did. Big Bob, Bob honestly, that's why I wanted him to win. I did. I, and jealously, I think he, he maybe was going to call in too, but he's a busy guy. So getting that call would have been very tough to get. He's at the Dallas Star game right now, and he's getting ice girls coming back to the house with Pigeon Vision. He's out of control. Very tough to tie down. Wow. A great guest, though. You're all up in that. I yeah, love wow. I'm a, yeah. I watch him. I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan, Bob. Yeah, full Huge s- fan. Back on the full back set. Back on the that, full that, set. That's Let's ride the stock to all-time that's highs. Nice, Bob. Um, coming in third place, this, this was Showtime's guy. Uh, 18%, just a little bit above. Uh, John Sarasani. Is that... I Mr. believe so. <laughs> Mr. 200, 2,000 percent. So. Yeah, he's a very big Instagram guy. He's, yeah, he's all over the place. Craig um, had him on solo, did a little solo job there, and uh, put on quite the show. That what are they talking about like stocks and just like ways yeah. to invest your money? Yeah, he's a finance yeah. guy. I don't yep. know his exact details. John can help make your life better if you yeah. listen to the words he says. He lives a good life. Um, and it, wants to help others live a good life. Second place, who is all right? Let, let, now that we have some reveals right now. Um, so last night going into this morning, Bob Mennery was winning. Yes. Then all day today, second place, who this guy is right now, is leading all day. Lost the lead at about 5 o'clock today. Uh, Kyle Sakara, one of the baddest dudes I've met in the sport of rugby. Uh, the bald eagle. Bald eagle, baby. Um, An electric Rips Bud Lights, gets the job done. 
Well, like we go went back to that, you know, Perret day. He was all about that day. He hooked it up for the boys. We definitely owe him a couple. You know, <laughs> we uh, went to Veterans Several. Memorial Stadium. We sat in the Many. locker room, interviewed him. Uh, he practically helped us get on the get on the team this year, uh, and probably going forward. I think it'll be a pretty solid relationship. Run it back, um, Free but, Jacks. Let's but go. goes down twenty one percent. Second place. Uh, the wit- I did love to see him getting all the votes, though. Like it, that, that spoke to our uh, audience. Yeah, our audience loves you, Bald Eagle. We love you. Well, you know what? You had two like influencers, um, you know, that have a lot of followers on Instagram. You had a professional athlete, rugby, um, and then just a local legend takes the cake with forty six percent of the vote. Joey Boats Romano, former contestant on American Idol. One of our good <laughs> Barstool Idol. Barstool Idol. Barstool Idol. Barstool I'm Idol. sorry, I messed it up. Um, union guy. Union guy. That's what I mean. He just comedian. Conti- he's your typical guy. Tells us some crazy stories every time he comes on. And you know what? He had a last push. He put out that video at around six o'clock. Polls closed probably ten minutes ago. Uh but great to see there. He he also did say if he lost, he was going to kill himself. So gra- glad he won. And that's glad why won. that's why he deserves the win. Yeah, you know, yeah. like put I, it all I, on the I, line. I texted him thinking like he was behind the late game surge. He truly did not even know that this was happening. He says he shuts his Instagram down during the week, like weekly. So he did not know about this at all. That's awesome. So I was like, where the fuck are these votes coming from? Someone, where are they coming from? I don't know. Someone he was in last place somebody, all day. Yeah. He had barely any votes. Yeah, second time on the show. It did just like a remark I think a remarkable story of how he you know got all the way with Barstool Idol, did kind of his own shit, and now he's, you know, working nine to fives. So every time he comes in, he just tells about a story about like plus there was one about porn. That was my favorite good. of his yeah. stories. Yeah. He was just That's like, yeah, I tried my hands story. and they would just gave him like something. And he was just like, yeah, now edit it. <laughs> now, now that we have, do we have the his kid? impressions are electric. We, yeah, I, no, I can't give him a call. Time. He's on the job right now. That's just the kind of guy he is. I can't remember his saying he had during Barstool Idol, but it was like, like just an American Greek kind of guy. That's who Joey is. And he deserves this one. Yeah, he does. And I think he would have killed himself if he didn't win. Yeah, I would have. I wouldn't <laughs> hopefully like, not. I, yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> I hope not. But I hope not. You never know. You never know. Who cares? He won. So Excellent yeah, video, so Joey. Yeah, we don't even have to worry about it. Joey Boats, the guest of the year. Joey, Joey. Hello. Yeah, Joey. Joey, Joey Boats, you are the winner. What's of guest, happening, guys? Your winner of guest of the year here at Stealing Ass. I know. What, what an honor. I just got the text message. I'm not shocked. I was shocked that there was the guest of the year. I've been <laughs> off of social media for like two weeks. I just pop in and then I post and ghost. But what an honor, guys. I mean, what a time to be alive. I, I feel fucking grateful. I feel fantastic. A lot of people see what, you know, what I do when the red light goes on. But I have the best coaching staff in the world. People don't see what goes on behind closed doors. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the nine to five. Middle America, tooth and nail, steak and egg, salt, the other type of commitment to integrity that I've been dishing out since the Clinton administration. Have you guys seen that Natalia Greystock on HBO? <laughs> no, I, I wish. It sounds pretty interesting. I, I think you talked about it last time you were on, no? I know. I, so, yeah. So there was that one. And then there's like a new one that just came out. It's about like a Ukrainian midget who's like who's like an orphan who's banging the father. And the father, I guess, claims that he tried to kill him. That's where my life's at. How are you guys doing? <laughs> doing, doing things, are, things are looking up, man. It's awesome. <laughs> it, it's our it's our year. It's a it's new really year. Good. And I'm just happy. I'm just happy you won't have to kill yourself because you mentioned that in the video. I'm hoping people took that into account. Yeah. So that's what I kind of do now. That's how I get laid. I just bring <laughs> I bring uh, I bring women to my apartment and then I throw on the 1995 theatrical release of Jumanji. And then when the and then when the final credits start to roll, I throw a belt around my neck and threaten to fucking kill myself and then, if they leave. And for the most it's part, quite a strategy. It's quite a strategy. It's yeah. I'm writing a book. Yeah, 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 yeah. The winning percentage on that got to be high. It's pretty high. It's <laughs> higher than you think. But you and, and then, and then when they, and then if they, uh, when they leave the next morning, I'm like, those idiots. I was never gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs>
how do you feel beating out beating out some pretty prestigious other guests bob and bob yeah, Mennery. Who is is bob Mennery? is he the guy that does the uh the fake um like the announcer thing yeah, Buffalo yes. Wild Wings, yeah. which i bet I you could do better than him Ooh. I don't love. I don't think that's funny at all. <laughs> no, I got nothing against the guy, but all the dumbest people I know send me those links, and I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. But he's probably a really nice guy. Everybody else, listen, it was quite the dais, quite the dais. And if it wasn't for the losers, it wouldn't feel so great to win. You know what I, mean? I wish at one point in their lives they can feel what I feel right now. Joey, before we let you go, any future plans? What what you got going on tap this year? I put, I'm going to the Pats, unfortunately, on Sunday. That's, that's, that's Fuck! awful. In the snow? Yeah, gonna, I might not. I might just say, screw it. Yeah, eat the ticket. Sell the yeah, tickets. The lay ticket. them on fire. Do something. Yeah. yeah and, and my other plan is to get back on the podcast if you guys friggin' invite me. Oh, I, yeah. I'm, goddamn, I'm the goddamn guest of the year. I can't get a second invite to the podcast. Oh, of course you can. Anytime, brother. I'm available, except for this. Actually, I'm probably going to be available this Sunday. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you then, pal. We should, right, we, should de- you. we should definitely schedule you in to officially claim your award here as guest of the year. We, we definitely yeah, want you back. Either. What well, are they yeah, exactly do we like? Do we like owe him one now? I think that's it. We like. Maybe, if you, maybe we'll get him an ice cream or something. I don't know. We'll get yeah, you like something. a monocle. What do you? Maybe a monocle. How about when the if boys? You, if a the monocle? man wants a monocle, we'll get we'll him get a, monocle. a monocle. How about when the boys take over a sporting event, we get we get an extra one for uh, Joey there. That could be done. That could be in play. Yeah. Done. I'll oh. take anything at this point. <laughs> 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 if you guys don't get me something, I'll fucking kill them. <laughs> the hey, perfect. Game. It works like a charm yeah. every time. <laughs> every time. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. No problem, yeah. bro. Joey, get How back to work. Congrats on the win. Tell, yeah. Let everyone into work know what you just won and be yeah. proud, man. Yeah. Be proud. Walk tall today. Well, Congrats. I've, I've been walking around with the champion. I won the uh, the fantasy league in my work, so I've been walking around with the title belt. So now if I can get that monocle, things will be looking really uh, good. Right, so yeah, we'll get it in as fast Let's as we go. can. Wow. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to you later. All right. Yep, see have you, have buddy. All right. Bye. Just a guest that really appreciates the right of the award. Yeah, I think... I think the right guy won. There. I think the what right guy won. Right what guy exactly. definitely won. I don't know if he wrote up that kind of post game speech, but I felt that. Yeah, I, I think that's the thing that makes him so impressive. He does everything on rip. Yeah. I think I, I think he brings his own plans to the table. He doesn't. Nineteen ninety five theatrical release at Chipotle. <laughs> He's had to have said that at least fifty times. Though. Like that, that, and that's one. Not yeah. killed me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't matter. Like the fact that his brain cooked that up is impressive. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm not incredible. saying fifty times to us. I'm oh, saying yeah. just like in general. In general, like he, he probably hasn't recited by now, which is that, good. It's, it's good. Yeah. Comic yeah. gold. Uh, congrats, congrats to all congrats our winners. To winners. Yes. We'll see you. We'll see you next year for the fourth annual, uh, third annual Steel Nas Awards. In the um in the books, uh, we'll officially post the winners when the po- pod comes out. Um, so if you when you're listening to this, we didn't do loser know. of the year. Oh, we didn't do Ooh, loser of the year. I so. feel like that's a good way to end it. Yeah, yeah, good way to end it. <laughs> loser, loser. Okay, so who's your loser? Billy Tibbets. Billy Tibbets. I think Billy, the Billy Tibbets. I, I'm not a. I don't know. Should we be afraid to say his name after some of the stuff uh, he said he did? He's do? just such a piece of shit, dude. Yeah, I, you know, Billy, oh. I, I've heard you talk and talk about all these good things that are going to happen to you, but I, I watch your stories. I don't see anything good happening. I see a, lo- a lot of loser activity. And I, I can I know the hate's coming for me. <laughs> the hate's definitely it. coming. I think that's all, that, that's all I'll touch <laughs> my, head, my head's on a fucking wall if he ever sees yeah. this. I'm just saying, yeah, he just said But he, he's a nominee. He has said yeah, some really bad yeah, things yeah. to us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a mean guy. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to be friends, Billy. All all literally we wanted from you, Billy, was a chance a to friendship. talk. A we friendship. just wanted to talk. And you just wanted to fucking shake us down for some cash. Even over the phone. Your like friend I, Bean Shooter literally records here. We're, we're friends with your, one of your good friends, well, the guy knows, who's always been there to help you. Now he knows where we're going to be. <laughs> he knows where we're at. He, knows, mean, he, he knows. probably knows Naz's address by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's he always said he could get to us. Yeah. But I do love you, Billy, but let's let's just have a better year in 2024, and maybe we can mend the f- relationship here. Like, that would be nice. That would be nice. I don't want to have to say these things to you, but I'm helping. My loser, I'm saying it as a friend. My loser of the year is... Uh, I think I, you got to go with Wander Franco, right? Yeah, big time. Absolute loser. scumbag. I uh, don't really have to go on about it, but uh, like he's dating 14-year-olds and he's paying parents under the table to date them. Um, 
we have a Rays advocate on the pod, so the Rays get talked about frequently. That comes up. He's it's had, just, just a total he'd loser. He'd have him as loser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I thought he's got they can't what that, he yeah. thought would have been worth th- thousands of dollars worth of Wander Franco's cards. Probably couldn't like sell them to a dumpster now. No, not even dumpster. dumpster. So the dumpster might be like, we, we, we won't accept them. Yes. So with <laughs> Matty Forbes having those cards that he wanted to sell, that he's not going to be able to sell, and him thinking that NFTs are back, quote from him, does that make him the loser of the year? I think he is the loser. Is he the loser? I, I, I just didn't want to like did be, it spin be on catalyst. Him? Did it Collect, spin on him? Collector wise, not great. Not great. <laughs> not no, great. no. That's how I'm he's hoping losing that money. some of these NFTs he's picking are some winners. I, I'd love to see him pull out some winners out of that fucking trash heap. <laughs> but uh, was Tarzan last year? Because if Tarzan, the, the guy who sold us our NFTs, was last year, it was the beginning that, of last year. Like. You know, he's on my loser list actually more than Tibbetts. Oh, wow. That guy, like, I hope he dies. So who's the loser? And uh, my pick would be the Florida State football program. Oh, there we go. That, that's, a, that, that's a loser. Fuck them. That's a loser. You didn't get in the college football playoff. And then when you, you were bitched undefeated, about it. And then you bitched about it. Then you lost by 60 points. Good call, Steele. Losers. Runner-ups. Mac Jones and Shawnee O. Yeah, Shawnee yeah. O, that's kind of mean. <laughs> Mac Jones is highly warranted. Um, but yeah, fuck Florida State. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think with Steele's passion here, I think it's Florida State. I mean, early. the, the Tibbetts was up good one. Wander Franco. Even Anton. Anton was a big loser this year. Uh, but Florida State. Yeah, All pretty, good pretty nominees, bad. really. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll call them the losers of the year. Florida State football team. Here to Love here. it. I'm okay with that. Straight from Naz's mouth. I'm Boom. okay with it. That's fine. I'm a huge bandwagon. And you've lost them all. No, we still got it. Go blue. <laughs> I'm just no, kidding. No, we, not, we did not, lose it all. We're not letting you on that train. Yeah, no, you you literally like, not, have to root you, you for You can't like, fucking you, yeah, root you for can't Alabama. Even, you can't even pick for a team next week. You, you think can't. you can root for Alabama and then uh, hop on the Go Blue train? No, I'm kind of like – I'm very neutral now because I like I like Washington. We'll, we'll get there. we gotta, we got to cover the main uh, the main headline of this week. I think that should be the main headline, yeah, honestly. It's a fucking I think the main headline should definitely – no. Be, could it be this Bill is, Belichick's no. last game as the coach? No of the one New cares. Campaign? Old I, news. Everyone fucking cares. Who? Everyone. Once again, nope. You know what? You did get. I, I was going to leave you off the loser the list. I was going to leave you uh, off the loser list. Oh, here we go. Actual loser. Here we go. Year. Actual is loser on, of the Is Anton under the table blowing you, bro? Is that, is that what's going on? <laughs> no. Is that what's going on? Is Bill under the table oh, blowing come on. you? I wish. I fucking wish. Just sitting, yeah, this, one out, yeah. Just sitting this one out. Oh, fly. my God. Bill Belichick, the greatest. It's, not, it's a non story. He's the greatest There's, football coach of our generation. It could be his last game where he's coached for 24 straight years. Not his last game as an NFL coach. Um, that's still up for debate. Who knows? Who knows if it's he the last game of the Patriots? I hope he does it. I hope he keeps going. Uh, anyone who you know is bashing Bill for you know the coach he has been his whole career is a complete idiot. This year, yeah, it's gone wrong. Him as a GM, gone wrong. But I think there's a lot of po- way more positives than negatives to look at over his uh, career with New England. Of course, hundred percent. Well, then what are you? Where are you coming from then? Like, what the fuck are you talking I, about? I, I, it's I, a non-story. It, it will be his last game with the Patriots, and that's it. That's, that's the saying, story. I've been saying it. I don't think. Like, I hope he coaches for them next year. Me too. I do like fire the shit out of him as GM though. Yeah, I agree. And he's not going to accept that. He's I been the, the GM. Line. Yeah, that could. Be. Yeah, he's been the GM and the. He's been the GM been, and the coach. Where have you been, bro? For like years. <laughs> really? Yeah. Or like like till the that's beginning not, of like, time. New, yeah. Yeah. Where have I been? Not rooting for the Patriots for years. That's where I've well, been. Well, I mean, I, I don't think you're, like, you're like, missing no, out on no, six no, years. You, you, you were yeah. probably at a parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah a couple <laughs> oh, parades. Dude, he's been the GM now long. What's the GM do? Pick the pick team. Draft the team. Like. All right, whatever. Negotiate contracts. Whatever. And you could argue that he sucks at that. That's definitely, you can say he's falling apart there. And I I just think when you look at the points here of, you know, evaluating different coaches that could potentially come in, how is that certain person going to come in and make the, you know, atmosphere better than what Bill does? Maybe bring the new era of, you know, what football is. It's a passing game now. Um, You know, not everyone's, you know, hush, hush. What kind of bill has been around the last 24 years? That point, I would kind of understand, but everything else in terms of, oh, this person knows football more, like, oh, this guy's more qualified for the job, like that, all that's just fucking blasphemy. You got to be ready for change. You guys hit rock bottom this year, like, clean house. Uh, this clean house. I don't, it's not, no, I don't think fire he can your fix GM. it. Fire the GM and coach. Well, I just, I, I think the point <laughs> is, you, you, 
You try to fire the GM and then the coach goes with it. Well, they're yeah. one in the same. In yeah, but, case, they, but you could like maybe work some out. Well, no, the, the whole know. thing is to demoting him from GM and just be the head coach. But there's no way that son of a bitch is gonna like live with that. At this he's, point, maybe he'd be down. At this point of his career. Yeah, he's like seven. He's in the seventies yeah. now, dude. Yeah. Fucking. He might not want a there's GM. A, there's just so many better options for Billy Boy out there than fucking it's, hanging it's, around here and trying to figure it out. Like, yeah, it's may- a. It, this has turned into a just a sad, sad. Maybe state instead of, of being the GM. In uh, maybe try and go and get some more pussy. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Can get that done. He can get pussy and wins. And, and you know, we'll miss him. But I, I don't think. So if he goes as coach, how hated is the next coach going to be? He's going to lose like one game. They, and he's they be ha- most hated guy. They have to no. bring in someone who has ties. It has to be. Yeah, it should, it's probably going to be Mayo. Mayo, Gerard Mayo, who's in-house right now. My dream one, if Bill leaves, would be Mike Vrabel. But I, I don't know if he's going to leave uh, Tennessee. He's got... Place is beautiful. If you guys get back to winning, no one's gonna give a fuck who's coaching. Like it does, and and if you if Bill stuck around and won, you won next year. I don't think you'd be crediting Bill. This is something from someone who switches a team every year. Would yeah. say respectfully. I mean, I hope. Like, t- can you name the coach of the Bucks? I hope no. Tampa wins on Sunday. <laughs> is it, is it, the, is it that guy Arian still? No, no he Bruce retired. Arians? It's um, then no. <laughs> who's the guy who used to call but the credit to me Jets. for knowing that? Yep. Um, anyways, overall, I want Bill to stay. If he goes, thank you for six Super Bowls. Thank you for, you know, 20 plus great years. The greatest quarterback and coach duo to ever do in the history of the game. Definitely a top. I think he's the best coach ever. Um, you know, these past couple of years could make him go down to two or three, but two or three is pretty damn good. And just the yeah. endless awkward moments with the media. That, that will be the most remembrance. Unbelievable. Him just not saying so anything. Funny. Just stare them in the face, being like, yep. Just gonna worry about next week. I, After a very detailed, specific question. I think we are, <laughs> I think we already <laughs> tie you own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just I, mentally. I, I will miss that too. Crumbling. I will oh, miss man. that. But I think, it, I think it's you're a lot better when it's you know, like yeah. things like that. And thank you for the thank you for the parades. Honestly. Yeah, always. Thank you for the parades. I'll remember Unbelie- those. Unbelievable. I'll remember those and not the downfall because I haven't been tuned in, obviously, what a, what to the a, downfall. I, that's, I think it's going to be a great moment Sunday, win or lose. Forget the game, just him walking off the field. I think you'll know right then and there if it's his last game. The what way, are you putting odds on, on the field. For, for this being his last game? A lot. Like, um, it's a 90, he- 90%. It's yeah, heavily favored. Game. I would go 85 just for hope. But uh, I think it's going to be his last one. It's going to be Matt Slater's last are game. Are you going to cry? No, I think I'll be okay, but um, it will be uh, it will be a moment. It will definitely be a moment when he's coming off that field, especially it's supposed to be snowing, like him in like some fucking bizarre like like gear. Like it'll be good. He's like regular gear. Like he, he might come in as cut off, like just cut offs. Uh, gonna be he Matt. Might come in shirtless. Gonna be Matt Slater's last game. Probably he's gonna retire. Uh, gonna go down as probably the best kickoff special teamer of all time. Mm-hmm. Uh, potential what he what he's done off the field Stunt. and on the field uh, potential Hall of Famer he should be a Hall of Famer I think he's I know Pro Bowls don't matter but he's like a 13 time Pro Bowl <clears throat> yeah it's the position yeah. that just kind of had some yeah oh absolutely and I don't think anyone's ever been a Hall yeah. of Famer the kickoff guy no, yeah. no I don't even think there are any ret- returners who were also DBs or receivers that's different like Deion Sanders Has to, like that. hasn't got it hasn't yet. got he should get in that's another guy yeah. that's right on that list uh, and then you kind of look around the team Trying to think David Andrews could be on the trade and block. Uh, you win this week. I don't even really care about the game win or lose. You win this week. You get the probably fifth pick in the draft. If you lose, you could get a second or third. Uh, obviously, you want to lose. But I think I just think when you look at it, you don't want to have a top pick unless you like the Bears and sneak <laughs> in the pick. You don't want to have you want to you be a good team. You want to be a good team. You, Stale. Like it, it's just going to be, nuts. it's going to be a matter of the draw. Unless you have the number one pick, like, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be happy with whoever pick, but it really is just a roll of the dice. There's like four or five quarterbacks who are going to be in the top 20 and you're, you're probably going to pick one of those guys. And hopefully those dice work. Didn't work on Mac Jones. No, it didn't like there's, there's been plenty of misses. Zach Wilson had been hit for the jets. Uh, who's the guy from Arizona there? Josh Rosen didn't work coming out of UCLA. Like it is a big coin flip. Yeah. I still rather yeah. I rather have my guy that I wanted on the board because I lost the last game that meant nothing than win the last game 
and oh, maybe oh, get pushed to five. Oh, I agree with that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying I'd rather. That's what you just said. Uh, no, I'd rather be a playoff team than fucking pick in the top ten. Oh, of course. Yeah, no that, shit, that's my point. Like, I thought you were, suck. Say, I thought like, you were saying you want yeah. them to win this game. No, that's I don't. Pretty much I do not want I, them to win this game. That's what it sounded like. This is the first game of the season, though, that I've been like, I don't want them to completely win. The The Broncos game was a big F. You just completely catapulted Russell Wilson out of the Broncos. That, that win I'm happy with. Last week, a win over the Bills. Uh, that You get more up in the draft. Well, solid loss there. This week, I think you've beaten the Jets, right? Like, Close to 12, you know, 13 times straight. This could end it. What a way to end it. Getting it. I would throw number the two fuck pick. out of the game. Like, oh, not even yeah. a question. Okay, like, play, you can't say that. Play Zappy again. <laughs> play Zappy. Of course play Zappy. I guess why we all want this, if they should pull out the victory and we keep that winning streak against the Jets alive, I'm not going to be that mad. That's the only positive. I'm not going to be that it's mad. That's the only positive. And my- from five to six, I don't think. Fuck That's it. a loser's victory. Yeah, you mean like three to f- if they go from three to five, it's not really that big of a difference. You might miss out on like a quarterback, and you're definitely gonna miss out on Marvin Harrison. But I'm just saying, like, if the quarterback you would pick, just say at three, and the quarterback you would pick at five, let's say you want to think Penix. there's that big a difference. Whatever you want, Penix. Well, Penix isn't even there yet. Yeah, Penix. The Penix. What do you mean he's not? There Penix yet? going into. We'll talk about college football in a bit. But Penix last week was going to be a second round draft pick. He had the game he had against Texas and got all the way up to the top fifteen, as he deserved, as he rightfully deserved. But I'm just saying he wasn't a top five pick. It's talking about Drake May, who have not really sold out. Jaden Daniels now coming up being a top five pick. Uh, even they're make, they're mixing in like Bo Nix. Who knows? It's all it's all numbers Every, until all it actually those happens. like mid first round quarterbacks absolutely balled in like their last three games yeah. of the year and it's just fucked up everything for the draft people. Yeah, like, no, I don't, <laughs> like they've all gone off in their last like final two games. Like I think like two months ago, like Caleb Williams just in the, like don't like Yeah, not even thinking like about a Victor Wemman by last year with the NBA draft. Not even think about it. Now people like people are starting to think about it a little bit. Even even the terms of oh the Bears have the first pick. Why don't they stick with Fields, pick Marvin Harrison at number one, or even trade down? I just think like he's not as, you know, marked in as a number one as he was a couple months back. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, but that would be draft talk. I like, I'm I'm actually actually looking forward to draft talk. I think Anton would be a great addition to that. Yeah, um, he shows up. <laughs> yeah, he loves fantasy. Like he, oh, he's all about fantasy. Uh, whether you know it's NFTs, football, living the dream, or like Kingdom Hearts. I don't know what that is, but I think he likes <laughs> Video it. Video game, continue. Strike Force. Um, so week eighteen picks going into this week. There's a couple ones that like I think this is the biggest week where there you see the most backup quarterbacks due to injuries oh, yeah. and just pure rest because teams are locked in. Uh, there's two really big games um, that we'll mention, and then we'll have our lock of the week. The first one is Saturday night. The Texans steals team all season nine and seven. Uh, they're going up against Garner Minshew mm. uh, and the nine and seven Colts. Mm. Winner makes the playoffs. Loser goes home. The winner could also win the AFC South if Jacksonville loses to the Titans on Sunday. So winner, it's a winner gets in the playoff type of thing. Houston is favored on the road, one and a half. Who do you like? Still? There's no scenario where they can both get in. No, uh, no. like not, not because they all have the same racket. God damn it! Yeah, that sucks. That does. That does. I mean, I have to take the Texans, my pick. No, you. you I know said, it's Gardner. You said recently to me that you want a Gardner. I know, but I gotta, I gotta stage. That was a preseason pick. I know. I just think the Colts haven't won a big game all year. Uh, Texans have been looking hot. CJ Stroud went down. They kind of, you know, had a little hiccup. Got back to neutral last week. They beat up on someone good. Well, in that case, I mean, I mean, big games. I mean, other than like Pete Manning, like neither of these franchises have won a big game in their lives. Um, yeah, and this isn't really like big, big. Like it's a, it's a meet, like a small big game. Rookie quarterback Gardner Minshew, your second stringer. These are big, big games. game for them. Yeah. Big game for them. They won. These it. teams aren't winning the Super Bowl. This is a big game. For no, them. I get it, but like. Like, Turn off the Pats fan for a little bit. Yeah, you're right. But like, I'm, I'm. It, it's, it's a big, <laughs> it's a huge game. It's a big, small game. That, like that, the Lions have a fucking home playoff game, and they're gonna. That's lose. bigger than like any fuck to those people. That's as big as fucking anything that's yeah, happened right. in Detroit. There's, the there's a bunch of losers getting the playoffs this yeah. year. The, brown, the Brownies, <laughs> although the Brownies are the greatest. Watch story. your tongue. You, you're root for losers. Uh, I mean, there's six Super Bowl champions. You're an idiot. Um, Four twelve right now, buddy. 
what? Four and twelve at the moment. That's fine. Whatever. We'll we'll bounce back. <laughs> I in hope couple, they never win another fucking Super Bowl. They will. I hope they. They'll don't. get back. Uh so yeah, I like the Texans here. We got double Texans. I yeah. want the Colts. You want the Colts? That's fair. I like like, and I know Steele wants the Colts, but he's got to stick with this preseason. Play. Yeah, got to yeah, go preseason. He, I have him on record as recent I, as this weekend. I want playoff Gardner. Week, I want saying playoff he Gardner. wanted playoff Gardner. I mean, if the downside of my pick being wrong is playoff yeah. Gardner, that's it's a win win kind of. Yeah, for yeah you. no, yeah, I'm looking good. It is a win win. So the winner of this game is most likely going to play, and uh, it's still a scramble. It's going to be either like Miami, the Bills, <laughs> Miami, the Bills. <laughs> So, like, they're both probably going to get shit pumped. But, I don't know, Miami tends to play down their competition. Who knows? But someone's going to get through this game. What team someone's would you want to play if you're with that other team? Um, Like, you mean? If yeah, I, like, like, who do you want to win that game if you're the other team? Uh, I who pro- do you think you match up? I'd probably against? rather play the Colts. I think so, Simply because I don't think uh, there's a lot more things you know about the team that – that like should happen while the Texans are a complete mind fuck. Yeah, the Texans. Yeah. I mean, you got a rookie stud. He might go in, puke on himself, first playoff game, or he could, or he could ball. just throw five. Ball, yeah. yeah. He might step up. Yeah. But well, Gardner's capable of that too. Yeah, no, you, Gardner you, can ball too. Yeah. You know where you get in. I don't know. The, I've like watched some Colts games this year strictly due to betting. And they either like, you know, they're going to, it, it was kind of like what the Pats were like a year ago, and even the like year, year before that, where like if they go down early, they're not coming back. If they like stay stay like a float, they have a chance to win. That's the type of team team they are. Uh, good running game, pretty good defense. Garner fucking slings. God bless. Love him. to see it. And then uh, the game, I would call this a game of the weekend, no doubt. Uh, Bills are on the road against the Dolphins. The Bills were standing at six and six four weeks ago, uh, looking on the outside in on the playoff picture. Now they're not; they haven't clinched the playoffs yet. If they lose and the Steelers win or something, I think they're out. So the Bills have a chance to beat the Dolphins and win the AFC East. Dolphins locked into the playoffs at eleven and five. Uh, Buffalo is favored on the road against the Dolphins. Who do you like, Steel? Ah, uh, give me the Bills because the Dolphins in their heads locked up this division like months ago. Yeah, I and just, give me Bills Mafia in the playoffs. Just seems ch- like a choke all about yeah, them. Absolutely, I'm running with the Bills minus three. I think it should be a pretty good game, and the Bills are known to like puke on themselves. Like even the last two weeks, like they beat some good teams. They beat the Cowboys. Uh, I think they beat the Chiefs pretty good. But then you play the Chargers with Easton Stick. That game was a coin flip. I think they won a game win field goal. And then last week, I mean, the Patriots gave them a pretty good game. Like for like. Being four and twelve, yeah. Well, it's all yeah. just it's all Josh Allen, and not just like the good things he does. But I mean, he can absolutely chuck away a game too. Oh yeah, like those. So it's like it does come down to him. I mean, he has some ugly ones. Oh, some Madden like try to like throw the end zone. Yeah, picked by twenty yards. Yeah, like he has Brutal. some haunts, and it's bad. So. Oh yeah, um, you know this this has I'm to in Miami. Yeah, oh, Miami. Okay. Yeah, Tyreek Hill. I've been watching the Hard Knocks uh, Tuesday night. Hard Knocks in season. Mike McDaniel, great guy. Seems like a good guy. Seems just, like it. Just let's let's the people go. Let's them be themselves. Total like total opposite from what Bill Belichick. Yeah. Total well, opposite philosophy. Works. It works. That's for what him. forty yeah. years does. So it works. It works. Yeah. Um, Magic Mike's lock of the week is going to be the uh, Buccaneers on the road playing the Panthers. Panthers worst team in football. Two and fourteen. All the Bucks have to do is win, and they're in. NFC South, if they lose their dot, if they lose their out, they're favored by four and a half points. Uh, I mean, that looks that that seems like it's doable if they don't what poop on themselves, like yeah. win the game. Oh, yeah, cover. I yeah, don't see hey, why they possible. wouldn't because it if they lose, it ignites the Saints and Falcons are playing each other. If they lose, it ignites a win, um, a win and in type scenario for the Falcon Saints. They're all playing at the same time, mm. so that oh, actually yeah. will that actually will be kind of electric. Um, it's gonna be a hell of a witching out. I mean, Baker, man, the Falcons can still make it. Yeah, if the, they beat the Saints and the Bucks lose, the Falcons win the tiebreaker. Wow, wow, yeah. I think they all have the same. Div- yeah, be, divisional if record. the Bucks lose to the Panthers, we don't deserve it. So agreed. I, I mean, that's what that's it is. That's very fair. I mean, Baker, dude, twenty-eight tutties, ten picks. Uh, I'm gonna throw for over four thousand yards this year. Like, if it wasn't for you know someone almost dying on the field last year and the resurgence of Joe Flacco, like he'd be right up there for a comeback play of the year. Or right MVP, there. I think he's right there. Do you have a <laughs> list of like the backup quarterbacks playing this weekend? No, but it's a lot. Like, yeah, because I want to find the most hilarious. Probably, 
Oh, no, he's not playing, but C.J. Bathard's pretty funny. Was Baker even in the running for MVP? No. <laughs> That's but, he had a, but he had a good year. Torch. He had a good year. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, and back on the MVP pick, I'm going to praise myself. Um, picked Lamar Jackson at plus 1,200 beginning week one. <laughs> Our, um, you know, like Steele did with his Texans. I said Lamar Jackson is going to be the MVP, and right now he's minus 20,000 to win it all. Kid picked up former MVP Five to TD. fucking win MVP. Well, he also hasn't Shit. played in two. He also also hasn't played in two years, you asshole. And he was plus twelve hundred to win. He he had the seventh worst best odds. That's not a lot. That's not good. Yeah, dude, you picked. Who, the who, who's who's title, running dude. against him? Uh it's over. Like it's over. Oh, he won. Like he's not playing this last week, and he's favored by a shitload. The the MVP. Who are other choices? Though? Brock Purdy had a good year, but then he puked himself against the Ravens. Jalen Hurts had a pretty good year. He, like Dak Prescott, had a good year. It was a carousel the whole way through. Like this guy had a bad game, he was out. Then this guy was favored, yeah. and then Lamar just got to the end and then threw five touchdowns against the Dolphins last yeah, week and fucking it. wrapped it up. He mm-hmm. did. He wrapped did. it up. Great to see. Good win. I can't find the fucking list. Tough list. Um, I'll give my lock of the week. Um, who we got here on? Uh, boom boom. Nah, the Jaguars. I, I I I can't lay with that. Pack no. All these games are kind of toss ups. It's kind of a tough spread. Go uh, with the easy one. Go with the go with the box. Yeah, well, you picked it. I got to pick something different. Uh, Eagles have to win a game. They've been pretty bad the last three weeks. Favored by five on the road in East Rutherford against the Giants. I'm taking them by a touchdown. I think they get the job done because they just lost themselves the, the division. But if the Cowboys somehow lose to the Commanders and the Eagles beat the Giants, the Eagles win the NFC East. But, uh, yeah, they've kind of porked themselves. They play at the same time, so it'll be interesting. I like how they do that. They don't set the times for the last week of the season until the week of. So it's yeah. like, all right, we're going to put primetime games yeah. where the best games are, and we're going to play all these games that kind of mean one another at the same time. I like that. Who are the Broncos throwing in a QB again? It's uh, Jared Stidham. He played. He won last week. Fuck yeah, let's go. Jared Stidham three. Stidham three. Dude, the Raiders are playing for Antonio Pierce. That yeah, could be a toughie. Jared Stidham's in the building now. Wow. I'm just kidding. Switch that Raiders by a pill. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I just did. I just talk <laughs> to, you to about the, No, to help the listeners because that's gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah, no, I think they're gonna like beat him up. Like I think it's gonna be like a very physical game. Uh, great to see. That's our NFL spread there. We'll uh, we'll come through with our playoff picks next week. Should be a nice wild card round uh, with the Ravens and the Niners getting a bye. So that should be good. Um, college football playoff. Semifinals. Bama goes down over time to top seed Michigan. What then, a game. Then Texas goes down to Washington. Washington's been an impressive team, man. But Michigan's been the talk of the town. How about it still? What a perfect day of college football that was. Perfect. What a perfect weekend of college football it was. Florida State getting pummeled by a trillion, then bitching about it. Then Bama gets a heartbreaking loss. And then, like, an a absolute thriller of a game in the late night. Dude, I'll tell you right now. Unbelievable. Like, whoever gets J.J. McCarthy in the draft, he didn't play well in the first half. It t- things were coming to him tough, you know, early in the third quarter. But come the fourth quarter, come when the game's on the line, he was right there along with the Blake Clorum, uh, you know, to kind of carry him too. But uh, Jay, whoever whoever drafts JJ McCarthy, man, is gonna get a hell of a talent. Oh, whoever uh, drafts Blake Corum, you got yourself a running back. With yeah, that kid, little beast. I mean, he's like five eight. And no, just that's what I mean. That's, that'll be interesting to see in the uh, in the NFL. Yeah, it could work. But uh, when it comes down to it, you know, Hardball's been the story. Suspended a couple games. Michigan's never been there. Everyone's picking against them in the semifinals. I think they were. Were they? Yeah, they were just a little bit favored. But they should, probably should have been favored more. Either way, get the job done in overtime. Alabama goes home. Uh, Michigan, I think, favored by four points going into the well, that final. Was, that was definitely the worst Alabama offense in the Saban era, like by miles. Yeah, wa- watch. I, I kind of watched them closely. In the, like, the first couple games, Jalen Milrow, Milrow was so trashy. He was awful. They even started another guy. I, I think, mean, Michigan's defense game. is amazing. Play. Yeah, yeah. But Jalen Milrow really turned things around. I think he was a top three Heisman candidate by the end, right? Because he was he was pretty bad in the beginning. Yeah. And then he, he really turned things around. They didn't lose a game. That fourth and – now it, now it kind of goes under the rug, but that fourth and 31 against Auburn where they scored a touchdown to win, 
Doesn't really mean much now because they didn't win at all. But uh, hell, yeah, I mean, they wouldn't have won the SEC championship if they didn't get that. So, uh, which means Florida State wouldn't have got fucked. It all leads back to that. I love that. Which is okay. <laughs> yes. So that's good. Yeah, great, great predicament. Uh, on the other side, I caught. I didn't catch the fourth quarter, but I I saw in the first half that Michael Penix, unbelievable for Washington. Washington outside of Michigan has been the best team in college football all year. Hasn't lost a game, bullied in Oregon and two you know games this season. Comes against Texas where they were underdogs. Uh, kind of, I, I realized it was a touchdown game, but they kind of held their own. Yeah, they 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 came very close to blowing that away. Yeah. Because, like, I think, like, probably the time you said, like, you turned it off probably or, like, went to bed, whatever. Yeah. Like it was late. It was late. Yeah. yeah. No, it was late. It was yeah. a late game. But it was probably, um, you probably thought it was in the bag for yeah, Washington. Exactly. Yeah, And it was not. <laughs> it was not towards the end there. But Penix never, uh, he never faulted. They just kept grinding away. They kept doing what they had to do, and they were able to pull it out. Texas, a lot of heart there. That's a very good football team. Texas looks like they are back. Didn't win that one, obviously, but um, a hell of a performance from Penix. And I've been pretty low on lefty Pe- quarterbacks, yeah. baby. I've been low on Penix just because, like, he just looks like he's like a the, the Pat White from um, West Virginia. There, like someone who just like. Kind of just throws it up and like whatever happens, happens. A Tebow throw that in, but that guy's got an arm. He can move around, you know, well, yeah, he extend plays, dimes. throwing absolute dimes. You, have, you, have you seen a highlight of the lad? I saw it the other day. A little and, insulting and it, to yeah, say he's Tebow? Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow was the best Tebow? college football player of all time. Yeah, because he threw slants to Percy Harvin. <laughs> but he, <laughs> he had fucking. Penix like, was, Penix, Penix was painting Penix the field. Slings, that was, dude. But that was his best game of the year by That's far. That's what he's been That's doing all year, though. <laughs> I, I, I don't know exactly like that. That had to be his best game. Yeah, he's been doing I, that I, all I, year. I watched dude. him against Oregon. Pretty good, but he did not. There was a ball, I think. Early third quarter, where it was just went in between two defenders, easy touchdown pass. I didn't see the, I haven't seen too many of those this year, but uh, his draft stock is really built up. Second round pick, now going to be a top 15. Who knows where that goes, like we said earlier, but uh, yeah, yeah, good to see from Mike Penix. Um, good story. I, I was reading the story a little bit too. He like, this is like a six year college. Yeah, he was he an like, Indiana guy. Yeah, he like got hurt like three different years yeah. and played for three straight years. Comes to Washington with the old head coach. Or like offensive coordinator, and then uh, makes it happen in Washington. So uh, and he was pretty good at Indiana. Like obviously Indiana, like he'd get pumped a couple games every year because yeah, play Ohio State, yeah, you play yeah, Michigan. Run into the but he made them a game a few times. Like I think they, I think they beat Penn State with a rushing touchdown from him. It was like three seconds left or something like that. Well, he's the type who just controls the level of play. Like I don't know. I'm not comparing him to. Completely like Lamar Jackson or like Michael Vick. I mean, those guys did what they did in the NFL. But that's kind of what he did with even more of a, you know, he's got a potential to have a good arm here. Yeah, he has a great, dude, yeah. dude he has like, uh, he has like less than 100 rushing yards. He's not a dude that guy, he slings. No, I like, I, I'm, I'm you think you've it's, compared, under, it's under 100. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was more than that. Then. Like, it's like he's a stand in quarterback. Like, he's not a Pat White. You'd okay, be, it's good to know. You'd be lucky to get him on the Patriots next year. Locking. I'll look it up. Right? Right, Still. Yeah. No, absolutely. Because I've seen him a couple Would times scramble. I was comparing him to some Russian quarterbacks then. Either way. Um, yeah, should 2023, be- he has 32 rushing attempts for 13 yards. I'm sure sacks, like, bring that down. Yeah, but you, you're in but the right. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Then then I I haven't seen as Bass much as I should have done. his game, Phil. I, I definitely watched the game the other night, but uh, I thought he was more of a running quarterback. Okay, I'm wrong. No, he's nice. I admit that I'm wrong. You, you wouldn't do that. Clip that. You wouldn't do that. Yeah, I would. When, have I, been, when have I been wrong? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, I got to be wrong. Yeah, when, tell yeah me, watch every me, week episode. Come on. Give me an instance. I mean, I've been damn accurate. Don't let him spit it on you. Don't let him spit it on you. No, 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 no. Washington. He's wrong now. I guarantee Michael Penix is a Patriot next year. I don't know about that, but I'd love it. Fine with it. I, I, I'm fine with it. Are you now? So you don't even know he's not a Russian QB. Well, I didn't You don't even know who you, what QB you'd be getting. Yeah, I mean, he's had a pretty good year. He's led a team that, you know, in recent past hasn't gotten to where they are right now. Uh, so you hats off to him. Sorry that I was wrong. I thought he could rush the ball. Wrong. <laughs> Stop I'm it. wrong here. I'm wrong. <laughs> Um, I hope he doesn't end up in the Patriots. But this lad I'm Tebow. guaranteeing it. Well, that's, that's another way you're going to be wrong. It's an insult. It'd be wrong. 
What? You'll be the wrong. The Tebow thing? No. No, you were wrong about yeah, that. Yeah, he's, he's not going to be like Tebow. He's going to be good in the NFL. Yeah, well, yeah. As, long, as long as he doesn't end up on the Patriots, Tebow, he's got hope. Best college football player I, of all time. I hope he ends up. Couldn't hold Vince Young's jock strap, but that's, that's for that, a different that's day. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's for a joke. different day. Can you carry on? All right, Washington. See, he doesn't want to get in that either. He doesn't want me to spin. I know what? that's a way. Like, I don't care about that fight. I've been fighting that for years, and I know I'm right. So mm. that, I don't care. Well, about I mean, that. he's wrong. What is he saying? Some Nothing. about Vince Young. Yeah. <laughs> um, Washington is dogs to Michigan. I think four and a half is Go the blue. official spread. Uh, you know, it's going to be, it's in Houston. Houston, we might have a problem here. Washington, Michigan. I don't know who he likes to. This could be the biggest victory for a lefty quarterback like ever. Wow. <laughs> one of the biggest, one of the biggest. And as a lefty, I'm still going with Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> I, four and a half, though, I feel like this game's like going to be a coin flip. That, that yeah, probably that, will be. That point could be a field goal game 100%. That four, that four, that could be a big one. Michigan just seems the destined team. I just feel like they're going to win. Like it, everything has been going there, hasn't been going their way, and they've just been winning, winning, winning. I, I just don't see how on the biggest stage you just outcoached, you know, probably one of the best college football coaches of all time, Nick Saban. You go into the title game. I don't know how you lose to Washington. Yeah, it's they, gonna, got, they got big momentum right now. Yeah. I, I, it I would mean, be, both it would be, They do, yeah. But I, Michigan's definitely like the bigger – the, the spread, yeah. the spread, I think, is the question. It's a t- it will yeah. be it most definitely will be a toss up. It's right? going to be very, very weird seeing either team like celebrate and lift the trophy. Because yeah, Michigan's I'm, been kind of like the big name, kind of like Notre Dame, where, like the big name college brand that like kind of chokes and blows it, and like Washington. I had that one year they made the playoff with Jake Browning and like other than that like smoked. it's Washington yeah uh, so it's gonna be weird seeing either of these schools win the national whenever title. both mm. teams in the championship are like undefeated I'm like wow this is like none of these teams are used to losing yeah. so like obviously they're gonna go in and like both teams are obviously gonna expect to win and one of them is coming out with an L like yeah. it's it, it's tough to make a prediction on who's gonna come out with an L. Let's not predict. Let's just enjoy it. I am going to enjoy, enjoy it, it, but I'm taking Michigan for When is the game? Uh, it is Monday, Monday night. night. All right. So, yeah, we got no, then, no NFL Monday night. Just fucking ride. And then next year, we're on to 12-team playoffs. Let's go. Can't wait. I, it's going to be interesting how that goes, what what they do with bowl games and you know going futuristic on them. Yeah, who gives a shit? 12-game playoff. Wasa- the Wasabi Bowl I, looked pretty nuts. Yeah, there's 42 game like bowl games that outside of like going to live, like who fucking cares? Oh yeah. So like, well, keep, the, the, keep them the, and just let them do. Like the people in those towns can go to those games still. That's fine. The gambling aspect. Will those still be gambling, there? Like fine, yeah. yeah. Like, keep them, but like the 12 team playoff matters. Oh well, definitely. And it's gonna be so sick. It's gonna be interesting to see like the the last like the first one out. You know what I'm saying like who like they're gonna judge between the 12th and 13th team. Of like the thirteenth team does not get in, and that brings much more aspect to it because like there's a hundred and thirty teams. Like it breaking down to four is bullshit, and it literally has been since they announced it at four. It, the thirteenth team, it's kind of like, dude, like you're 13th you should you should have lost. Yeah. <laughs> you're like you know what I mean, like if losing three games is going to be for an SEC team for a big conference team. It's gonna be okay. Things are gonna be okay. They could as long as you win the in. right ones. Yeah, if you win and lose the right, might you, not be. It might not. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. You win and lose the right ones. Like Georgia loses to like Bama, LSU, and maybe fucking my I don't point. Ole Miss is good. Then that's one thing. A, but if you choke the one to Vanderbilt, see it. Yeah, a good program will get in with three losses. Yeah, one I of think, the big no names. Doubt. One of the big guns. Alabama loses three games, they'll get in. Yeah, unless like again, one of them's drastic. Yeah. Like they yeah, blow he's it right. against the team. Steals right. Still's always right. No, I yeah. know as a hater of Alabama that I have just like I'm never going to see Bama not make the playoff ever again in my yeah. life. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, but if they lose three, like they have if they lose of three games, I don't see them winning, they, making it through the tough playoffs. I don't think they've lost three games. In like well, no, it's about making. Yeah, exactly. It's about so making I, the playoffs. Yeah, no, I, they're, yeah. they'll make it. Bama's going to be not because they lost three games. Probably because <laughs> well, the they had a good fucking season. Like, yeah, you but know, I did get to make see their fans make cry it. this weekend, and it was beautiful. It was, it was great. Always beautiful to see Bama. Go it was a hell of a football game. 
It was. And a lot of people chirp in that final play call, which did stink. But this is Alabama. They've been running quarterback draws to get fucking five yards Those for like RP- the last like 15 years. That was definitely an RPO, though. Yeah, and there was a yeah. bad snap, and he tried to run it in half. That's what happened. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. No, people were just saying, oh, they called a QB draw, and he definitely didn't. He just rolled with that. It was a bad yeah. snap. Blame the fucking center. You blew the season center for Alabama. And then you couldn't block the guy in front of you. Yeah, well, that guy was a fucking yeah. house. I mean, they, it was a swarm. It was yeah. a swarm. I don't blame him on not yeah. blocking the guy. You got to get the snap off. Blocking that guy, I can't just be like, yeah, you should have done that. That guy was a fucking monster. Mm. Great to see. Uh, I think we'll talk about the Bruins a little bit more next week. Uh, we'll mix in some Celtics now. Um, five players in the All-Star game? Could that happen? Yes, but like should be in theory. Like probably not just because of how that shit works. Yeah, so the the um the voting came out today, like the first like they do a couple different ones down the line. So right now, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum would be in it and Chris Tops is like right on the line. Um, but the five, like they're promoting the five, which would be, would be those three, Drew Holiday and uh Derek White, who's had a phenomenal season. Uh, I think Derek White probably deserves it, but you know, small names don't really get into the All Star game. He'd be yeah. the coolest one to get yeah. in. Yeah, oh, by far. Because that he it would yeah. mean the most to him. Like the rest of them are all gonna get in for like you know what I mean. Like Tatum and Brown are gonna have fucking thirteen more All Star games. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, realistically, yeah, yeah. I think it should be three. I think obviously the Jays. I think Chris Stops has played when he's able to play good enough basketball to be All Star caliber basketball. I think he's a difference maker for that team. Been playing great. They've been playing great. Yeah, tough, tough loss against um the Thunder the other night. But you know what? The Thunder are a real team, dude. Like that um Shay um Shy. yeah SGP. Who's I think yeah. best player? SGA. Um, Shy Gilgarius Alexander. Alexander. He that's came that's fucked a, up the that's G one. Go to guy. No, he's nasty. He drops thirty a game. Um, the who's the not? He's a rookie this year. Was hurt last year. Um, he matched up with Chris Stops. Kind of the, oh, the Gonzaga, similar dude. player. Oh, um, duck. He, He's played good though. He's at, I think he's averaged like twenty and ten. Puke. Um, Chat. But good to see uh, Celtics on the front. They need to continue to develop their bench. I think that's the bottom line of this team. All their starters are fucking a money. Um, then you got Horford. Um, Hauser's been playing a lot. Pritchard's been getting some time here and there. I think the other night Drew Holiday got benched for Peyton Pritchard. Because Drew Holiday was just stinking up the floor against the Thunder the other night. Uh, hey, basketball! I mean, you could, like if it's all your night in basketball more than like any other sport, like like sit the guy. Yeah, I just think like that's like like some nights in basketball, whether you're fucking you can't fucking hit, you set. can't hit it. It's yeah. just not your night in that game. That's how that sport works. Like some nights you go fucking one for nine. Doesn't matter like who you are. Like why does it feel though the last like at least three seasons like it, it's been like title or bust, but this year it seems like. It's way more than that. Like, like you, like that. I feel like this has to be the most hyped team that they've had in the last, you know, since KG and them won it in 08. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like it's just uh, the kind, of, like, kind of how the team has stuck together. Like, obviously, they've switched, like, getting Kristaps and uh, Smart to Holiday, but like the Jays and all them, like, it's been focused. I mean, they've been championship contenders their entire careers, and they're hitting years, like, six and seven now, or whatever it is. Seven I know, and they're signing extensions. Yeah, yeah so, it's like, expected. it's, like, now it's, like, now it's, like, there. Like, it's, like, you're not so much the young guns. You're, like, entering your prime. Especially in the Eastern guns. Conference. Like, they should be blow, like, blow away favorites to win the East. East. There's, there should be no reason they don't get to the final. Um, you know, Denver will always be there. Got the, got, in my opinion, the best player in the world. Um, yeah, and Clippers have been better. Lakers, who knows? I mean, the only yeah. guarantee that's I think in the way that could stop them in the East would be Giannis. Yeah, absolutely. That's just a freak of nature. I, I don't know. I just think the Celtics have their number, and when once they got rid of Drew Holiday and gave him basically we exchanged, and then they got Damian Lillard. I, I just think their defense is you know, backed up a little bit. And Damian Lillard, he has had a great career, but has it really has he really proved in, you know, when it could, comes, could be an Eastern Conference final where he comes and hits the big shot. He has hit some big shots in his career. Oh, yeah. It's been no. early on in the playoffs. 
He hasn't won shit because yeah. he stayed in Portland. That's exactly. part of the reason he hasn't yeah. won shit. I mean, that's like not it's like it's not like an individual thing with him that he can't no. shine in like the big moments. He's not like James Harden or something. Yeah, it goes without saying. And he does. He's reminded me perfectly of an example who you don't want to be in James Harden. Yeah, I think Damian Lillard has. Uh, Shelton is a pretty cool dude. Yeah, no, he uh, just he he was yeah. just never on a team that actually stood a shot at getting there. No, like, I think truly there. I think they no. made the West Finals once. They like upset someone pretty good when he, they had McCall them too um that's a fun team that was a fun team to watch but uh the celtics seems like they're uh you know june basketball could be in their sights uh joe missoula it's theirs to blow yeah it really is and, and if they blow it's gonna go all on the coach joe missoula you win it will go on the team if you lose it's gonna go all on joe missoula saying that oh he can't you know step in for an email Odoka who is having a pretty good season in houston right now yeah um well, he's a great coach. How about that? Well, it, could, it could come down to the big guys not fucking doing their job, too. It, that will be. That, that, that's the NBA. Can't all be the coach. That's the NBA. You need, you need to have all-stars. You need to have home run if hitters. These, yeah, guys, if these guys yeah. once again prove they can't finish jobs, then it's on them. It, no, that, agreed. It doesn't but it, matter who's yeah. coaching them. Yeah, agreed. I think. Co- I mean, it might matter a little bit. Yeah. But. The coach will get the right, but you're in the you're in the right there. No, I won't give it to the coach. I, oh, you won't. I, I will give it to. He's a player's I'll guy. Give it a, I'll guy. give it to Tatum and or Brown, whichever one of them fucks up. Play Mac Jones. No, Mac doesn't. He's gone. Mac's been dead. Blame the concessions. <laughs> no, <laughs> I th- I think I I, 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 I have a hard time believing Chris Stops will be there in the end. So I think that will be your downfall. I hope he is. Our downfall. I do want the Celtics to win. I hope he is. But, he like I think you're right. He is like the, I think he's like he is he, the retainer. You blow the retainer. You'll we've go. already yep. said it enough. Like yep. he's not. He, he's proven no. he's gonna go down. He just walks like he's gonna like tear his like both, yeah, it doesn't both look legs right. and, and that's just like yeah, that's him being fucking yeah. seven three. And in him going down, will drastically change how good we are against the box. Absolutely, and, and it won't against be any, such a against fucking anyone. Walk yeah, you're right. It won't be a walk with him anyway, but that could fuck us majorly. Yeah. I don't know, man. That if they get a couple pieces at the deadline here to kind of complement their bench, they probably need another like big man. Because I don't think I, I don't know. I don't think Luke Cornett's going to do the trick in in April May. Probably like, not. We need a guy to play. <laughs> we need a guy to play fifteen twenty minutes. I think he can do something better than that. We need this exact team, as is right now, to win this whole thing. Straight I, I, up. Yeah, I think this could be some additions. Uh, additions are fine, but if yeah. any of the any of the people on this team. To get go down, it, it's going to be true. Oh yeah, it will be de- definitely like. When is the deadline? I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't think I anything. Think it's I, what I'm February, saying yeah. is, I don't think there's anything out there that's really replaceable for if any of the big boys go down. I don't. Oh, I, I think. I think. Oh, I agree. Trouble. You you have an all star go down. It's going to be tough yeah. to do anything. And it's hard yeah. with that NBA trade deadline, just because like like you'd have to like really delve into like who's on the block and stuff. Because like we'd be trading probably not for a big name guy, but for like pieces. And all those guys, I mean, who knows like who the fuck you can get at the trade deadline? Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be rentals. They're gonna be yeah, exactly. They're gonna be like, season yeah. season vets. Like that's all you're looking yeah. for. Um, like the Celtics in a way when they won the championship. Yeah, like the list will come out yeah. more of like who should be on the table. P- like, PJ Brown was in street clothes. He ends up hitting the game like a uh, big shot in the playoffs in Game Seven versus Cleveland Cat Cavaliers. Those are the guys who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a guy who can come in there and like. Really turn things. I'm talking no, about the guys who yeah, exactly. come and give and you some minutes. And that's what I'm saying. I try yeah, to yeah. give you some names, but it's like the names of who's. Yeah, done no, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like, a it's a whole it's list. It's a crapshoot. Yeah. yeah. Ricky Rubio. He uh, retired today. Did he really? Yeah. Big respects. But been playing professional basketball since he was 14 years old. I saw he's 30. He, he retired. Spaniards at, are crazy. He's only 33. He's been playing for like 20 years. <laughs> 20 fucking years. Just making money playing basketball for it? 20 years. He called it. Like he was going through some mental health things and then realized, oh, I'm, I have multi million dollars. Like, I don't need to do this. I can anymore. literally just sit on a beach. Yeah. And, like, not have a mental health issue. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I'd do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, episode 151 in the books. I think the awards were cut quite the delight. Big shout out to, um, got Joey Boats Romano and, um, yeah, the boys. Ozzy. Ozzy. Uh, Moment shout of the year. Everything. Local shout business out everything. year. Yeah, shout, out all of the year. shout out all of it. Shout out Rachel. Mainly shout out you, our listeners. Oh, wow. Yeah, well. good job voting. <laughs> there we go. Good job voting. Kept kept it interesting. It, it was an interesting it, vote. 
Sometimes it's a runaway, I feel like. Yeah. I, Especially I the, think in the past with Johnny Damon and Zolak, it was like they were pretty much yeah, guaranteed. Pretty I would have thought Bob Menery would have been the guarantee. I was way wrong. It's all about the like the local the local yeah. flavor. I mean, yeah, like Damon was a, a book mod, like, <laughs> bat, like yeah. Yeah. I think Joey Boat's gonna beat him out. Joey Boat's army rides strong. They came in in droves they did, out they of nowhere. Listen, man. Listen, I don't know where they came from. I don't even think Joey knows where they came from. We'll have to ask him. On he the might next have just show. hit up like a sex group chat. And been like, he didn't hit yeah. up. He didn't even know when I texted him and said you were about to win the award. He didn't even know what uh, was and, happening. And unless he played I, stupid. No, he definitely played stupid. I don't think he did. No, I, I honestly. He was like, "What are you talking about?" He, he I'll, the text literally was like, "Who is this?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I lost all my numbers." Like the guys dialed in at work. Oh wow! Definitely not thinking about winning guest of the year. Yeah, I gotta qu- uh, give a quick. But now throw. he's celebrating. Yeah. Now he's celebrating. Quick throw to our sponsors: Slide Edge Fitness Performance, located at 101 French Avenue. Come in, consultation is free. Um, you know, New Year, New You, trying to shed some pounds before beach season. Uh, get there on the Slide Edge. Um, Craig Kelly gets the job done. Also, the law office of Patrick J. Foley, looking to buy a house, looking to do something in the court of law. He's probably got you. Or he knows someone. He's got connections. Great dude. Opened up a nice spot in West Quincy. Um, he's letting it rip. <laughs> yeah. All you can do. <laughs> he's definitely letting it rip. He's a busy man. Um, big shout out to Hedge Better. Justin, if you want to get your own podcast started in here, he's your guy. Big promo there. Episode 151 in the books. That's all she wrote. Until Don't next move. year. The new year is almost here, and if you're looking to shed off some holiday pounds before beak season, well look no further and head on down to Slight Edge Fitness Performance located at 101 French Avenue in Branch, Massachusetts. Owned and operated by our guy, Quincy legend, Craig Kelly. You will be assured that you are getting the best training around. They believe in only the highest standards of physical fitness training and have been leading the charge at their state of the art fitness facility since 2020. Their staff is actively enriching the lives of members and creating a community of like-minded people who love being healthy and strong. They are helping you to get in shape and teaching you how to maintain your health and fitness. Group fitness classes as well as one-on-one personal training sessions are available. Make sure to visit SlightEdgeFit.com and also follow them on Instagram at SlightEdgeFitness and set up a consultation today. If you're looking to get back in shape or trying to get a slight edge on the competition, this gym is for you. Check out Slight Edge Fitness and Performance located at 101.